myself Prayag Patel, working as assistant professor in IT ICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now, in today's video lecture, I will discuss about the next topic as a the summation operator. Now, here, what is the summation operation? We already know the generating function. Now, here in this section, introduce a new technique that help us to calculate the summation operations. So for that, here we consider the new technique as a new technique that help us go from the ordinary generating function for the sequence A0, A1, A2, A3 to the generating function for the sequence A0, A0 plus A1, A0 plus A1 plus A2 like this. That means we already know the generating function for the A0, A1, A2, A3. Now we have to find the generating function for the A0. Second part is a A0 plus A1. Next part is a A0 plus A1 plus A2 like this. Now for that function f of x is equal to A0 plus A1x plus A2x square like this. Consider the function for the f of x divided by 1 minus x. So here we can say that the coefficient is a 1 upon 1 minus x for the function f of x. So we rewrite this equation f of x divided by 1 minus x is equal to f of x into 1, 1 upon 1 minus x. So what is the f of x? f of x function is equal to a0, a1x, a2x square like this. So first part is a a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube like this. Now second part is a f of x into 1 upon 1 minus x. So second part is a 1 upon 1 minus x. So 1 upon 1 minus x, that means 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube like this. So when we multiply this two term, then we will get the result as a a0 plus a0 plus a1x plus a0 plus a1 plus a2 x square plus a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 x cube like this. That means we can say that the, we consider the function for sequence a0 a0 plus a1, a0 plus a1 plus a2 is equal to f of x divided by 1 minus x. Now in this equation, here we consider the f of x divided by 1 minus x generates the sequence of some a0, a0 plus a1, a0 plus a1 plus a2 like this. This is why we refer the term 1 upon 1 minus x as the summation operator. Because our function is a f of x. When we multiply the f of x with the 1 upon 1 minus x, then we will get this sequence as a summation sequence. So summation operator consider as a 1 upon 1 minus x. Now here, furthermore, we see that the sequence a0, a0 plus a1, a0 plus a1 plus a2 is the convolution of the sequence a0, a1, a2, a3 and the sequence b0, b1, b2, b3. When b of n is equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. Now after that, understand the summation operators using some examples. So example number 1. In example number 1, first condition is, we know from the part b of our previous already solved example that 1 upon 1 minus x is the generating function for the sequence 1, 1, 1, 1 like this. So if our generating function sequence is 1, 1, 1, then our answer is 1 divided by 1 minus x. So applying the summation operator in this function, then 1 upon 1 minus x, we see that 1 upon 1 minus x into 1 upon 1 minus x because our function is 1 upon 1 minus x. And we apply the summation operation is same as a 1 upon 1 minus x. So multiply this same term two times. Is the generating function for the sequence 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 like this. This is 1 upon 1 minus x square is the generating function for the sequence 1, 2, 3 like this. So this is already we discussed in our previous example also. So this is a 1 upon 1 minus x square is a generating function for the submission 1, 2, 3 like this. Now after that second part of this example number 1. Now, let us start with the polynomial x plus x square. The generating function for the sequence 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, here our function is x plus x square. Now, apply the summation operator. So, what is the summation operator? Summation operator is 1 upon 1 minus x according to our definition. 
So here, when we apply the summation operator in the function x plus x square, then we will get the result as a x plus x square into 1 divided by 1 minus x is equal to x plus x square divided by 1 minus x. Now, the generating function for the sequence 0, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0. This is the sequence 0, 1, 2, 2. Now, a second application of the summation operator tells us that x plus x square divided by 1 minus x square is the generating function for the sequence 0, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 plus 2, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2, like this. That means the sequence for this is 0, 1, 3, 5, like this. So here, summation operator for this function is a x plus x square divided by 1 minus x square for the sequence 0, 1, 3, 5. Now, a final application of the summation operator tells us that x plus x square divided by 1 minus x square is the generating function for the sequence 0, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 plus 3, 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5. That is the sequence 0, 1, 4, 9. So, this is a common form for summation operator. Now, second example. Find a formula to express 0 raised to 2 plus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 2 up to the n raised to 2 as a function of n. Now for that we start with the function g of x. So g of x summation operator is a 1 upon 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square up to the infinity. Then next term is a minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to minus 2 into minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x square is equal to d g x divided by d of x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube like this. Now from that, so the x upon 1 minus x square is the generating function for the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now repeating this technique, we find that x d by dx into x d by d g x divided by dx is equal to x 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x cube is equal to x plus 2 raised to 2 x square plus 3 raised to 2 x cube like this. So x into 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x cube generates this sequence 0 raised to 2, 1 raised to 2, 2 raised to 2, 3 raised to 2 like this. So here our answer for this formula is x into 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x cube. Now here as a consequently, we find the answer of the all the previous term. So our earlier observation about the summation operator, we find here x into 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x cube into 1 upon 1 minus x is equal to x 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x raised to 4. So is the generating function for the 0 raised to 2, 0 raised to 2 plus 1 raised to 2 then 0 raised to 2 plus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 2. Then next term is a 0 raised to 2 plus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2 like this. So here coefficient of the x raised to n is our answer. So the coefficient of the x raised to n in x 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x raised to 4 is sigma i equal to 0 to n i square. But the coefficient of the x raised to n in x 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x raised to 4 can also be calculated as follow. So here already we write the common equation as a sigma i equal to 0 to n i raised to 2. But in another way we can find the value for the coefficient of the x raised to n as a x into 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x raised to 4 is equal to x plus x square into 1 minus x raised to minus 4 is equal to x plus x square into minus 4c0 plus minus 4c1 minus x plus minus 4c2 into minus x raised to 2. Now from this formula, we can solve or simplify this formula, then we will get the resultant value as a minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into 4 plus n minus 1 minus 1 c n minus 1 into minus 1 raised to n minus 1 plus minus 1 raised to n minus 2 into 
4 plus n minus 2 minus 1 c n minus 2 into minus 1 raised to n minus 2. Now when we simplify this formula then we will get the n plus 2 c n minus 1 plus n plus 1 c n minus 2 is equal to n plus 2 factorial divided by 3 factorial into n minus 1 factorial plus n plus 1 factorial divided by 3 factorial into n minus 2 factorial. Now 1 by 6 is common. Then we will remaining part as a n plus 2 into n plus 1 into n plus n plus 2 n plus 1 into n into n minus 1. So we write this formula or resultant value for that is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So this is the answer for our example number 2. In this lecture, we discuss about the what is the summation operators and how we can apply that. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.